Hey there everybody, welcome back to Detective Grimoire. We are still on the case, looking for the murderer uh, of the owner here, uh, Mr. Remington. He doesn't have a challenge because he's dead. Um, he's a suspect. Boggy, Boggy is a suspect, but I don't believe that this person have to Not suspicious. Oh, okay. That's not, not suspicious. 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 Not suspicious. Okay. Not suspicious. We'll, we'll leave that because that's. Okay, so he's a suspect, but I don't know why. Well, well, we'll sort through all this later. Apparently, this is the exact hat worn by the explorers 60 years ago. Uh, it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. Tell me about it. He is sneaking in through There's this a door. There's door in the wall here. I think it leads outside. It's locked, though. He said he lost a lockpick in the swamp somewhere. So, we should probably find that if we can. Let's leave the museum for now. Let's consort the map. We gotta check out the whole right side of this swamp. It's a tree. This staircase is a tree. And this tree is a staircase. And this place is so weird. <sighs> okay. This stair- and What's- it Looks like this stuff oh. in the water has been moved around recently. Maybe Whoops. if I reposition them, I'll find a clue. Reposition them. Oh, there's a a claw print here, right there, and then there's a heel right here. But there's also a second claw print over here. Right there, and then this goes here. I recognize that footprint. It's the same as the one found at the crime scene. I'm glad I clicked the water. There's no... The water's clear here. I can see my reflection in it. Not bad. There's no clear indication of what's a thing and what's not a thing. Uh-oh. Looks dodgy. Someone please tell me why there's a house here. Well, the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. This is... This is awesome. They live in a tree? I wish I could live in a tree. Um, let's go that way. The latch is broken on this door. It seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right place. Once they're on the right pins, I can move the handle at the bottom to try and open the door. Okay. Um... So this has to be one of these. Otherwise, it won't won't make it. Do I have to use all of these cogs? Is that the rule? I guess I really do have to. Can I do this? Perfect. Oh, there we go. I am amazing. Taking all the credit for my work. What is with all this fur Check in the out air? That sunlight beaming through the window. <laughs> it's so bright I should have brought my sunglasses. There's like this fur everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's all you over the museum just too. Walked straight into my house, did you? Maybe. Not exactly. I had to climb up here first. I'm paid to walk into people's houses. Sorry, I would have rung the bell. Sorry, I would have rung the bell, but you don't have one. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention, but I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Do people you here get are very any nice. Attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. Tell me. I'm Lady Weybridge, 
and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. Okay. I'm Detective Grimoire, and I think I might agree with you. Your job. What do you do here? Did you work for Richard Remington? I was living here before that man was even born. And I have absolutely nothing to do with him. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this treehouse? What do you do up here? I've been here longer than anyone. Even longer than... Well, Body. anyone. I, I like numbers. 60 years. Something like that. Hmm. What have you been doing for that time? If you don't mind me asking. I have many reasons to be here. But I won't bore you with all the details of my life. I'm sure there's one detail worth writing down. I like to study the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set. Or here's a leaf. But if you bring me an object that has liquid on it, or inside it, I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Perfect! Wow. How do you do that? Chemistry. Chemistry? Page from Weybridge's book of pressed flowers contains information about all the flowers in the swamp and where they grow. The green and red species only ground the side door of the museum and can't be found anywhere else. I am sure I will find them somewhere else. Your job is to ask me about what happened last night. Do you even know what happened last night? I know more than you might imagine. I believe no. it. That sounds useful. Can you tell me? What were you doing? I was here. In my house, by myself. Mm-hmm. What else? That's it. Thanks. <laughs> Just give me a minute to write all this down. Um, can I present these? These dripping gloves? Let's see. Liquid sample from collected... Uh, uh, liquid sample collected from gloves. First thing we do is put the sample of liquid into the cauldron, then tap the faucet. Okay. And now, we just have to match the color of that liquid with these ingredients. So we need green. Pretty sure that's blue. And yellow. There you go. Got it. Now I know what that liquid consists of. I'll write it down in my notes. Uh. Flower book. I don't really have anything to show her. What is this? Should I present to her? I'm not even sure who that is. Alright, let's back her, back out of her. Um... Notes. Notes. Case file. Profiles of, sus of suspects. <laughs> Profiles of suspects. Clues and notes. Uh, clues. Notes. Interesting. I'm trying to find the information on the... Man dressed as an explorer. I guess I'll know. Miss some stuff. Um, he said he wrote down in his notes. What it's made out of, but I can't find them. Alright. Get me out of here. 
You can click and hold the back button to exit immediately from menus. Okay. Thank you for telling me. What is 2 and 7? I don't know what that means. The owner of this house seems to enjoy reading. Though, I'm not sure what else there is to do up here, actually. I should look around. There's more. a whole load of needles and wool on that shelf. Or should I say yarn? I just don't know anymore. I'm indoors. What a treat. I'm indoors. Alright. The old, the, the tree comes straight through the middle of the house. It even has little drawers carved into it. Okay, that's genius. It, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a fan of that as well. This is like an oven? Or is it just a boiler? Uh, it's so old fashioned, it hurts my brain. It's both, probably. Okay, let's leave this treehouse. And keep going? I don't know which way we came from, technically. Where's the map? Um, let's go to the right, I guess? Oh, there's the cafe! Predictably, a trash can. And I just can't resist taking a look inside. The glamorous life of a detective. My favorite part of the job. Maybe there's something underneath the trash in here. It's a picture of Boggy. Hello, what's this? Just a piece of paper? Or something more sinister? Oh boy, it's sinister for sure. And there's a sinister banana peel in here too. These look like designs for a Boggy costume. What's going on around here? Okay. Are we really talking about a swamp creature here? Design. The trash. Mm. I don't like any of these last ones. What the costume design explains what Bro's black and white photo is showing me. The costume design I found in the trash can explains what Burl's black and white photo is showing me. My detective's intuition is kicking go. in. That black and white photograph. I'm not sure I'm looking at the real Boggy here. You're not. And I think these designs I found in the trash can might be the answer. They are. I'll ask around, see if anybody knows anything about this. Oh, and I should start looking for the costume itself. If I can find that, there'll be some pretty impressive evidence. You've already found part of it. Chapter 2, A Deadly Disguise. Continue. <laughs> oh! I have something for you. Another gift already. Where are you keeping all He's this stuff? Suspect. You don't even have pockets in that dress. <laughs> I don't need a pocket to carry a key. What key? Mm, I don't know. You could try it on any door you like. It's a lockpick. Although, pick. I recommend you try it on the office door. Remington's office? Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe it is the key to his office. Grass, trees, nothing unusual. The tables and chairs are made out of parts of a ship. Novelty. I think. Never really learned much about ships. 
A shipwreck? In a swamp? Does that make any sense? Yeah. And why is there a cafe growing out of the side? <laughs> sure makes sense. Have you seen <laughs> RE7? Ah, oh, yes. I heard they were sending somebody over. So you're Detective Grimoire. Mm -hmm. Oops. Well, uh, kind of. And uh, you're a suspect, too. <laughs> of course, of course. Feel free to be as suspicious as you like. I won't be offended. You can call me Harper. How did you know my name? I can only assume I must have read about one of your many exploits. But I think you'll find this swamp to be your greatest challenge. What's so challenging about an old swamp? You mean this murder case? I'm sure I can handle it. I love challenge. I eat challenge for breakfast. What's so challenging about an old swamp? The swamp itself has a history that has captured many imaginations. For better or for worse. My advice to you, look to the past. It could be the way forward. Ooh, he's got an extra one. Oh, because I decided to ask everybody about it. So, you sit in this boat all day and sell food to people? To tourists, I guess? Not just the tourists, but the employees, too. To anyone who is hungry or thirsty, I know everyone's favorite foods. What are they? Oh, and is this a real shipwreck? How did it get here? I can't expose all the secrets of the swamp. I don't want to spoil your fun. Is there a secret to this shipwreck? No. You just spoiled my fun. You'll find out there are some secrets worth keeping when you've worked here as long as I have. Well, how long is that? I've worked in the swamp almost 60. as long as Mr. Remington. We knew each other for a long time. <laughs> oh, okay. Really? So what was his favorite food? Mr. Remington enjoyed a specialty only I can make. The bog dog. He ate one nearly every day. A real creature of habit, that one. It looks the like a hot dog. dog. It's similar, but I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. I'm not serving them today. Why not? Yesterday I found this strange green powder in my entire supply. Guess I'm out of luck today. Well, thanks for the information. You've been a real big help. Wait, wait, take this with you. If you get thirsty, it's the most popular drink in Boggy's Bog. Swamp juice. Try it. It looks like... It looks... Ah... Uh, well, I'll yeah. try some. No. Later on. You're in luck. That's my last bottle. A lot of swamp juice has been disappearing from my stock recently. I can only assume I must have been selling them all. Did something strange <laughs> happen at the cafe it. yesterday? Um... Ah, Richard Remington left the cafe after feeling ill. Oh, uh, left the cafe feeling ill after. Harper sold him a bog dog. I assume. Richard Remington left the cafe feeling ill after Harper sold him a bog dog. Harper is basically in charge of all the food and drink here in Boggy's Bog. I'll have to ask him about this. Ooh, I got a challenge. Well, let's... You're going to ask me about what I was doing last night. Of course. I was going to? Were you going to tell me anything? I was working here at the cafe in the evening. I had a couple customers. Eventually they all left and I locked up and went home. Do you lock away everything customers? at night? Not everything. Just the storeroom over there. You mean that little door on the side of the ship? Is there anything else to lock? I leave the chairs, tables, and trash can where they are. Lifting things like that is not a job for an old man. Hmm. Don't you have anyone to help you? Mr. Remington liked to keep us down to his skeleton stuff. There simply aren't many people who would choose to work in a place like this. A skeleton staff? Well, that's convenient for him since... Don't make that joke. <laughs> I won't laugh. Okay. <laughs> Someone made a costume to look like the creature. Yep. They must have known it would get a reaction for sure. But I wonder if they planned things to go this far. When you're finished theorizing, I was going to show you these sketches I found in the trash can right next to your cafe. Hmm, it does seem like someone was designing a costume. 
A disguise, perhaps? I don't know. Try to think disguise. why somebody would do such a thing. I don't know. What could they achieve with it? I don't know. Not yet. I know. Well, I have an idea. I was told Remington left the cafe looking ill last night. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect. But I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? Poison. Drag an item to the space to try it. A bog dog he ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Poisoned by me? The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. So, that would make us think that Folder is responsible. Well, Folder also mentioned that he dropped a set. The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. A lockpick? I've never yeah. encountered a problem like this before. Someone's breaking it everywhere. Since last night, am I in a position to doubt a claim like that? Somebody knew that Remington would eat a bomb dog. He ate one every day, right? Mm -hmm. Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? Probably, yeah. I don't really have much to give him. I don't think he cares much about anything. He gave me these. It's the most popular drink that I sell. In fact, a lot of it has disappeared from my stocks recently. Oh, it's probably the same thing. It's probably the slime that's found in the gloves. Um... It was Mr. Remington's favorite food. That strange green powder isn't supposed to be there. What is with all the green fuzzies everywhere? Um, let's head... Well, let's, let's keep going this... Yeah, I know, I can go to the office. And trust me, I will. Gifts. It's a humble gift shop wagon. Let's take a look. Bonky dolls, bonky toys, bonky postcards. Yeah, this stuff isn't half bad. Bonky doll. A bonky spog mug. Maybe I'll get one and surprise Officer James for Christmas. Sounds like a plan. Even the stuffed version. Ha oh, there's the costume piece. Wow. It's spooky looking. This thing doesn't seem to belong here at all. It's creepy looking. It's some kind of roughly made costume head, I think. There's a strange piece of red fabric stuffed inside. Two clues for the price of one, I guess. Red fabric? Alright. Headpiece from a homemade boggy costume found hidden amongst the boggy hats in the gift shop. He has an unusual lining with a red swirly pattern. The red lining is a piece ripped from some curtains. Wow, they just kind of handed me that one. Hey. So. Um, sorry to interrupt. I can see that you're, uh, hard at work. You weren't here yesterday. Oh no, I, well, I only just arrived. I know, I was in my office yesterday. Did you miss me? Alright, we'll do this one. Oh, no, uh, I, well, I I'm selling these arrived. fine leather jackets. You're the detective, right? I'm a detective. So? That was your hat I saw blowing through here. My hat! Hmm, you spotted it too. If you're good at your job, you may have realized that it's kind of dead around here. So, I generally notice magical floating detective hats. Touché. Um, don't worry, you look better without it. How do you know? Oh, I have a good imagination. Hmm. I didn't expect to see someone your age working in a place like this. But then again, I didn't expect there to be a place like this in a place like this. I only started working here this year anyway. It's temporary. 
Just running the gift shop to earn a little extra money. Don't ask how I ended up here. I'll save that question for a different day. You don't seem at home here, exactly. I hate it. This place is disgusting. Come on, you don't think it's kind of beautiful? No. <laughs> you would say that. You what? only just got here. Oh. You'll get sick of it. If I wasn't here, I'd be stuck in my office doing paperwork. At least at your office, you don't have to bring spare clothes every day. It's impossible to leave this place without being covered in dirt. Challenge accepted. Yep. When you have a moment free from your busy schedule, I need to ask you about last night. I know, but it won't help. I worked here during the day, then left my gift shop and went home in the evening, same as every day. You just leave your gift shop here when you go? No, I put it in my pocket. Yeah, <sighs> seriously though, as much as I appreciate sarcasm, I think I'd get in trouble if I wrote something like that down in my notes. Well look, you've noticed the gift shop has wheels and you're thinking, oh, she's pretty lazy to leave it lying around. But if you want to try pushing this thing through the swamp, be my guess. And I can't lock it up, so I just leave it here overnight. Nobody's ever stolen any of this lousy merchandise anyway. I even left my spare clothes here when I went home last night. You left them here? By the gift shop? Yeah, it's no big deal. They were all still here this morning. Kind of. Kind of? Kind of. I think someone played a stupid joke, and my spare black leggings were covered in some disgusting swamp slime when I found them in the bag this morning. Part of the costume. If you're going to take my clothes and mess them up, then just keep them. I don't want them back. You know what I mean? I absolutely do. Pair of Sally's black leggings. Sally said someone played a joke on her since they are covered in strange liquid slime. Sally left these leggings in her bag and left that bag in the swamp last night. So someone took her leggings to make I the costume. I have a theory that the murderer was wearing a costume. A homemade outfit designed to look like the swamp creature. I've never seen anything so ridiculous. You've never seen me in that. I know it's not exactly the latest fashion, but... No, you'd never see me in that. It would cover me up entirely. That's... that's the, <laughs> the idea. Of the disguise? Mm -hmm. Look, detective. When you have legs like mine, you don't want to be wearing disguises. Is that why you oh always wear those black leggings? You've only just met me and you're making assumptions about what I always wear. She has a point. And making assumptions is the fun part of being a detective. Well, you're right. I always wear these. I don't really have a clue to present. Oh, I see. So I'm missing one piece of the costume. The body part, I presume. I don't really have anything... clues? Is that one of your clues? It's nice. You can put it away now. Mm. Should I ask her about somebody? He made sure I always got paid, so I can't say anything bad about him. You can if you like. He won't hear you. You should have more respect for the dead. Hmm. I know. No, <laughs> as long as you know. Is that one of the other suspects? They're more suspicious than me. Let's agree on that. She has seven suspicious statements. Oh, I see. So their suspicion meter is off the charts, dependent upon what statements I find suspicious and which statements I don't find suspicious. Um, let's travel this way. Someone is singing. Alright, let's head to the- oh, oh, this music got ramped up. Okay, I have a key, so let's go inside. Even though I have the key, this might not be as simple as I'd hoped. This door has two keyholes. So, which key should I use in each one? Um. I don't know. Am I supposed to know somehow? So each keyhole has a design on it.
<laughs> There's only so many, uh... Oh... What was creepy in here? Remington's desk is covered in drawings and maps and notes. It's all about Boggy. Uh, he was obsessed. An ink bottle spilled into his work. I'm sure he didn't do that on purpose. Yeesh, it's a bit of a mess. Perhaps there's something underneath those drawings. It's a note addressed to Richard Remington. The handwriting is immaculate. Richard, our man of the world. A little help's in order. We're worried that the efforts regarding our elusive little friend might be in vain. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to take it all in. The efforts regarding... Okay. Send word when you can. The letter is signed FF. And attached is a blurry little picture. It's some kind of... Metallic insect. Metallic insect? I have no idea. Vincent Van Der Peer's business card. There's a couple of numbers scribbled on the back. It's a letter Remington was writing before something caused him to spill his ink bottle. My dear fellow, I received your note two weeks ago, but have only recently found the time to do the appropriate research on the matter. I feel like my time in this awful swamp might finally come to a close. All due to the simple realization, hmm, the rest is obscured. What a tease. I know. So conveniently... Am I done here? It's a letter Remington wrote before my iris, but I've all... I feel... Oh, dear. Hmm. There's a map of the swamp lying on the desk. It's been annotated in a few places. It's a... No. The hat rich... Where... Send the letter... And... It's some... Oh. I just need to get out of here real quick. And then I just want to look at my suspect... Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah. There's a gun on the floor. <laughs> discarded carelessly near the window. Yes, discarded carelessly. I'm sure that's how it got there. This isn't the kind of thing I can ignore. An old fashioned hunting rifle found discarded on the floor of Remington's office. Photos and paintings line the wall above the fireplace, but one of the frames is empty. Wait a second. What are these pieces on the floor underneath it? This photo is ripped, but it looks important. If I can piece it together again, maybe it'll reveal a secret. Secrets. We like secrets. How long is this photo? Oh my goodness. So, hmm. here we go. This photograph, and it's a young Remington, and then some other men I don't know. They're all holding rifles. Hunters, I imagine. Maybe you can ask Harper about it. Harper. First order of cryptozoological... Cryptozoology... Cryptozoology... I can't. Hunters. Headquarters. 1963. A group photo of a hunting club. A younger Remington stands among friends. They're all holding rifles. And they all look seedy. Super seedy. I'm just... Just perusing real quick. Okay. And the window. The open window looks over the wooden planks outside. Oh, and on one side, a part of the curtain has been ripped off. That one side of the curtain. It's a sharp metal poker for a fireplace, hidden in the shadows. Something about those three prongs. I feel like I just stumbled across an incredibly important piece of evidence. 
Fireplace poker hidden in Remington's office. It has three small prongs on the end. There's a small amount of dry blood on the tips of the prongs, covered in a strange liquid slime. The three prongs match up with Remington's wounds. Could this be the murder weapon? Have I uncovered a secret in here? Murdered the victim. Belonged to found at the crime scene. All the suspects. Was a ghost. Belong to a secret society. Is it does it relate to the trident? Explains why. Disproves that. Huh. This one's these are tougher than they seem. There's only a two people. Murdered the victim. It was a ghost. Belonged to a secret society was found at the crime scene. That's not proper grammar. It's- this is the only- I feel like this is the only thing that could fit here. Is this true? The hunting photo is historical evidence that Richard Remington belonged to a secret society. I'm getting a strong feeling that Remington might be the bad guy in this story. If he wasn't already dead, I would have loved to ask him a couple of questions. I should ask around, see if I can gather any information about his motives for being here. It seems like he doesn't want to be here. Richard, Re Chapter 3, Richard Remington's Real Reasons. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call it here. I'm still missing a suspect. I'm going to call it right here. Um, we've uncovered a lot of clues, a lot of possibilities going on. I'm not going to mention any of them just yet, but... I really don't have very many. They all stop at a certain point. I still don't know who done it. So if you do, more power to you. Um, if you've been watching so far, thank you. I hope you'll stick around to see who done it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!